Hello everybody, this is Oliver from Neon. Today we have a special topic and it's about stained teeth and how to avoid it. And for this I brought a very special friend of mine um, to uh, the Piazza de San Marco. We met here in Venice, so we're in Venice behind you can see the beautiful um, the surroundings of the Piazza San Marco, very beautiful. But that's not the topic of today. Today we are going to talk about this problem I think many people have. So Marco, I think the best is if you just go a little bit into the topic. So why do we actually get yellow teeth? Why do we get these stains and how, and then in a later stage, how can we avoid it? Avoid it, yeah. Okay. Well, first of all, thank you for having me. Uh, well, uh, teeth stain because the enamel the structure that makes up the, the outer layer of the tooth is uh, porous, which means it actually can take up pigmentation. And with time, with age and everything that we intake uh, on a daily basis, it slowly goes darker, yellow, brownish with time. And um, we have the big fives, which are T, is unfortunately the worst one for you guys. And we have coffee, red wine, uh, Coca-Cola, uh, tobacco, whether chewed or smoked. And then we also have jam and tomato juice on the side. Um, now, uh, the tips that I'm gonna tell you guys now are the same for coffee or for tea, even for red wine if you want to. Um, number one on the list would be uh, effective tooth brushing, which means uh, brush your teeth twice to three times a day, as you should already. Uh, but always within maximum 20, 15, 20 minutes after you drink your tea, for example. The less the tea or the liquid or the pigmentation stays inside of the mouth and in, talk, in contact with the teeth, the least likely it is that it actually gets uptake by the by enamel, or by the structure, by the tooth itself. So actually when I drink tea, I should like enjoy it for some minutes, but not wait longer than 20 minutes to just breath my teeth because then we have more effect or you have more effect of the pigmentation the longer the, the co what is actually happening is, is it like it's the, the darker pigments they stay in the mouth or they just stick on the teeth or no the the food that we intake uh, whether solid or liquid has color in it yeah. color are pigments yeah. are small molecule they're yeah. colored mm -hmm. and they get intake they get they they, uh, they penetrate inside of the porous structure of the enamel and then gets the uh, sediment inside of the structure okay. now a couple of course they didn't do anything but over time pigments after pigments after pigments then you start seeing a change in color now if you do for example you drink your tea then you enjoy it for a couple of minutes for a certain amount of time I don't want you to drink your tea and then brush your teeth right away mm -hmm. because that, that wouldn't make any sense but within like 15 20 minutes try to brush your teeth yeah. by brushing your teeth you take all the liquid, all the pigments out, and they're not, you know, you, you, they're not going to be able to to penetrate the, the tooth uh, structure. Oh, okay, good. So I let you go on. Okay. Uh, factor number two would be uh, use water as a buffer. What I mean by that, water is a buffer, meaning it's a structure that can uh, first increase the pH in your mouth and can also wash all the pigments and everything that you eat, whether solid or liquid. Okay. So you can do two things, well, three things, three, uh, three things with that actually. The first thing is drink a lot of water during the day. Uh, drink water or rinse with water after you drink your tea. So like five or ten minutes or fifteen minutes afterwards, you can instead of using a, a mouthwash, which usually has pigments itself, just use normal water. You you um, rinse your mouth like two or three times for like 20, 30 seconds. Okay, or drink water with your tea. Meaning you drink you drink a couple of tea, then you enjoy it for a couple of minutes, and then you drink a little bit of water. Mm -hmm. That also works. And there you don't have to rinse. No, then you well you can also rinse at the end if you want to. That's also that would be a mm -hmm. plus, for example. Okay. Okay. Uh, then the third one is reduce the frequency. What I mean by that, avoid drinking like 20 times a day tea. Of course, I'm going to drink it 20, 20 times a day, but maybe maybe try to drink it three four times like with food you're not supposed to eat a lot of times during the day because that has uh, increases the likelihood that you will have will uh, develop cavities for example mm -hmm. same thing with tea don't drink it drink it like three to four times maximum and try to drink it when you actually have a chance to either rinse uh, your mouth with water or brush your teeth right after that will be uh, mm -hmm. and then um, reduce the um, the, the amount of time that you drink, meaning 
enjoy your tea, don't drink it like for an hour, mm -hmm. keep on sipping and sipping for an hour because that increases the time that the tea and the pigments stay inside of the mouth and in contact with the tooth structure. So try to drink it maybe within 15 minutes or 20 minutes. That would be, a, that would be the, the, another point. Okay. And then uh, um, another thing that you can do, you can chew gum. Okay, chewing gum helps. If you can't rinse your mouth or if you can't brush your teeth, for example, you can chew gum. Gum um, stimulates the production of saliva. Mm. Saliva is also a buffer and has a, a way of cleaning your mouth and cleansing your mouth and that helps as well. So you can chew it. Don't chew it for more than 30 minutes. Okay, gum, you should never chew it for more than 30 minutes. And that also can also help. So I can take any gum, anything or... Sugar free. Like Sugar-free, sugar -free, but nowadays uh, there are almost all of them are sugar-free. Yeah. And uh, any gum that you want, just not more than 30 minutes, because then it you have a you have a, a effect on the temporomandibular joints, the joint that you mm -hmm. have here. Okay. You shouldn't use it. You shouldn't chew too much. Okay. So point number five: dental hygiene treatments, meaning go to your dentist like twice a year and uh, have your clean teeth. Okay. Um, why? First of all, because uh, it can help you with the plaque, uh, the gum, you can get a cleansing and cleaning of your teeth, first of all. And second of all, uh, try go to go to a clean uh, uh, teeth cleaning that it's at least 40 to 45 minutes. Okay, a dental hygiene treatment of 20 yeah. minutes is not, a, is not a cleaning. Okay, 45 minutes. And what they usually do, they clean your teeth and then you use bicarbonate, for example. Bicarbonate just reduces the superficial stains on your teeth mm -hmm. and can whiten your teeth a little bit. Mm -hmm. It's like a, a superficial bleaching, let's mm -hmm. say, okay? And that helps. And if you do it t uh, two times a year, first of all, you can check for cavities and everything, but it can also, you can, it, it can help you with time, okay? okay. Then uh, point number six, but I don't know if that's uh, for you guys, it would be to drink tea with a straw. I don't, I don't know if that actually, I don't know, I would I have to ask for, you. I uh, think for cold tea, for cold tea, definitely you can do this. So, so what do you say is to really drink or there's some, Mate tea, for example, which you drink only with a straw. Okay. But so what you say is that uh, we should use a straw because then the li the liquor doesn't the, touch the liquid the goes directly into your throat mm -hmm. and you and you swallow it yeah. and, it, and it doesn't touches the the uh, the surface the out okay. the, the external surface of the enamel. Okay. Okay. I don't know if it's a possible because I understand the part of the taste is that you have the tea or red wine or coffee whatever in your mouth and everything mm. but that's also a possibility if you can okay point number seven now uh, that would be a let's just say a last resort okay, meaning if you if you if you have a, a feeling or if you if you check in your teeth and you see that they're going uh, to call it a little bit they're, they're, they're a little dark a little yellowish or something mm. go to your dentist and ask for a professional uh, bleaching by professional I mean ask your dentist for a cost estimate ask if it's for yourself um, if it's okay for you, ask for information. That's definitely the best way of, uh, of whitening your teeth a little bit. And then you can couple it uh, with uh, a uh, house, meaning a, a at home uh, bleaching. The difference is uh, in a clinic, you bleach your teeth, with, well, we bleach teeth with a much stronger um, gel or a, um, a product for a shorter period of time, like 30 minutes, 40 minutes or something, and uh, that takes out the stain and the coloration that has been there or inside, or much deeper inside of the tooth structure for a long uh, for a long time, like 10, 15 or 20 years. And what you do at home, you use a product that it's, uh, has a much, uh, it's, it's much lighter, it's like I think the concentration is 10 times less, mm -hmm. but you use it for a longer period of time. Instead of a half an hour, you use it for three or four hours, mm -hmm. for three to four days in a row. And that actually um, can take all the superficial stains out, and gives a more um, unanimous color and uh, okay. of, of the tooth. That that's that's definitely the last resort because the tooth are already colored. But that's definitely don't use don't use whitening toothpaste. That doesn't work. It's not whitening. They're either abrasive or they use a concentration that's way too low to actually have an effect. Use a normal toothbrush and um, a toothpaste and toothbrush, and just just go to your dentist. That's that, that would be my uh, my tip. Good. I think this is uh, awesome, awesome. Um, so let's go back and just go through the points again. So number one was... Um, effective toothbrushing. So effective toothbrushing, number two. Uh, within uh, 15 to 20 minutes after you drink your tea. Okay. Good. Number drink, two. Uh, drink a lot of water during the day. Drink rinse with water after you drink your tea within 15 to 20 minutes. Or drink water 
in between, sip yeah. a little bit of tea and then sip a little bit of water. Okay, then three was? He was reduce the frequency, try to drink tea two to three times a day, four times a day, yeah. 20 times a day, and reduce the amount of time that you drink it. Like finish your tea within 15 to 20 minutes, don't, don't, don't drink it for like two hours. Um, four was the four chewing was gum. Chewing gum. Remember? Okay, <laughs> that's good. It's good. <laughs> and then the fifth is the dental hygiene treatment, mm -hmm. uh, uh, cleaning, teeth cleaning twice a year. Okay. Number six, uh, drink with a straw mm -hmm. if you can. And uh, number seven, uh, last resort, uh, bleaching. Uh, do a professional bleaching uh, at uh, with, with your dentist. Good. Be it. Okay, so now you know how to uh, treat your teas that they stay white and you can still drink the most amazing tea in the world. So uh, thanks to Marco, thanks Thank a lot for, for being me. here. Okay. And uh, where can people reach out to you if they have a question on anything? Um, we have an email address which is uh, info at studiofrediani.it okay? and then we also have an uh, Instagram uh, account of the clinic and also a Facebook account which you can probably read yeah. now. We will the, put exactly. it below <laughs> on the description. So uh, thanks a lot again don't for worry. being You can here ask me anything that you want. Don't be afraid. Don't exactly. Hesitate. If you have a question, ask me or ask Marco about <laughs> the teeth or how to avoid teeth staining. So thanks a lot. Have a good day. We're here at Piazza San Marco. People Beautiful walking place. around. Yeah. So have a great day. We are enjoying it. I hope you enjoy it too. Bye. Ciao.